Hello Agents and welcome back to another Division video. We are back on the PTS and we are taking a look at some of the changes they have made to some of the exotic weapons in the game in Phase 2. And one of them that really, really, really stands out is the changes that they have made to the Merciless. Now the Merciless had some really, really horrible recoil in TU9 and when they changed the talents as well previous to that it really made it not worth bothering with. It wasn't good in really in any situation. You had to give up way too much damage to make it stable and to make it viable. But with the new weapon handling buffs that we have just seen, and because when you look at the mods, it has a 20% weapon handling grip attached to it, it actually becomes super, super viable and really, really nice actually in some situations. So much so that I quite easily would run this now either as a primary weapon or especially as secondary to my M1A. The muzzle has 20% stability on, the magazine has 15% reload speed and it has 10% accuracy on. And obviously with the changes to weapon handling you can imagine how fast this is going to reload. So we're currently in the heroic range right now. We're going to pull that up close so we can see it. And let's put it on a half decent mob. So this is on an elite. And there you go. You can see how fast it is. How quick it aims. It's unbelievable. And there is no recall in this. So I'm going to aim my gun there now. I'm going to lift my mouse up. And I'm just going to spam the left mouse. And as you can see, the gun doesn't move, there's very little bounce. And therefore, as quick as you can press the mouse button, or as quick as you can pull the trigger on console, you're going to be able to do this. You're not only getting the explosive damage, there is a new amplified damage buff as well when this goes off. As you can see in my damage on the bottom left, they're the numbers to be looking at the Damage on last hit and the DPS on the right hand side don't always work correctly. But there is some insane damage coming from this and it's literally down to as quick as you can pull the trigger. Just to show you over here, let's move these up a little bit. We'll build the stacks up across the board. And next time, you can see it just kills anything and everything around it. It's in for nearly 4 million explosive damage. Now on veterans, that's probably not going to wipe out the whole lot, I want to imagine. No, but it does do the same amount of damage, 4.1 million. Which any veteran or elite mob around is going to take some serious damage and red bars it would probably wipe out and it's all going to be down to how quickly you can pull that trigger I mean I'm going through ammo here like no tomorrow obviously I am on a TU9 build there's no extra equipment I put into this from the TU10 PTS So everything is just the same, so no Walker Harris, which potentially two pieces of that could give me a buff as well. But as of right now, it is really, really good. Well, just to go over the talent, the binary trigger. So some of it at the beginning is exactly the same as what it's always been. This weapon fires on trigger, pull and release, which is why it's so quick. If both bullets hit the same enemy, gain a stack, which you could see building up on the gun. At 7 stacks, shooting an enemy deals 900% amplified damage, which is one of the damage numbers that you saw. And then creates a 7 meter explosion, dealing 1200% weapon damage, consuming all the stacks, which is obviously the explosion that we saw. And it's just absolutely insane. The quicker you can pull the trigger, the quicker everything is dead. Now it's going to take some getting used to, it's a lot of clicking, a lot of trigger pulling. It's definitely not going to be quite as simple as your steady M1 air like this. But in a situation where you've got a lot of bad guys, 
And you think that explosive damage might pay off? Definitely, definitely worth a go. Definitely worth a try. So what we'll do, we'll head out to a mission and we'll give it a go in real life. Because obviously what looks good in the range might not actually look good in real life. I like to test a lot of my builds and guns at the beginning of Wall Street. You get a good mixture of enemies and armor enemies. And obviously we're going to do it on heroic. You're coming up on Dragov's outer perimeter. Remember, you're only here for Dragov. But if you find his supply depot, raid it. I still don't like the idea of throwing you to the wolves, no matter how much we want drag off first way. Oh, I like on the PTS then. <laughs> Some stuff just instantly dies, it hits that quick. Can we build stacks up on the shield? Yes we can. So there you go, so enemy equipment lets you build stacks up as well. There's hardly any bounce in there. Yeah, it's really good. It's really, really nice. We'll just do this next section just to finish off before we end the video. Because we know there's some heavier enemies in here, like this one here. Let's try and see what happens against one of them yellows. Oh, wrong gun. The exploding. <laughs> Just absolutely wiped out. Oh, we've got another one we can try it against up here. Let's see if we can. For the red bar. Does he run off? Oh, so there you go. We can see it hitting him there from behind. It's actually quite nice, actually, you know. Something's in cover if you've got something you can hit next to it to proc the damage explosion. I find that you have to go for body shots more if you want to proc the explosion. Because you've got to get the first the bullets in, you know, on both. And then we'll run out. That's a bad example. Right at the end, Let's finish him off with the M1A. Yeah, really nice, really good. And as I said, this is just a TU9 build, so none of this gear, although optimized for TU9, there's better pieces coming in the form of Walker Harris, where we could perhaps swap two Walker Harris in for the mask and for the holster. Calculation-wise, should give us more DPS. So that's the Merciless guys, if there is any other weapons you would like me to go over that have had a big big change, the Chameleon as well had a huge change, huge buff, huge talent change, could really be viable now, do let me know in the comments down below and I can make a video giving it an overhaul. Come and check me out over on Twitch, twitch.tv slash DJ Tickle, I stream there most days doing raid help and anything else division related. Check out my links in the description, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so that you can be notified for when I upload future Division videos which I do all the time. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching everybody, goodbye.